I don't like being in the tub as I get older, man. I don't like it as much, man. Also, I used when I was young, it's fun to lay in a tub and look at your body. You know, it's not as much fun as I get older. <laughs> no, that that's, you know what? That's fair point. He ain't lying no, right there. That's why I put lying. like two bath bombs in, and you can't I, see the. Bubbles. I get out of the tub once it starts oh. to dissipate, and I'm like, "What is that?" <laughs> <laughs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. You don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. <laughs> Said? Yeah, I think so because uh, when you, I don't know which way you came, but when you pulled in, did you see the line of people from fucking that's Chick Fil A, Brendan, just Brendan. lined up, just the old people waiting to get the vaccine. Oh, I and didn't it see goes that. Down the freaking block, just, just heaven's doorstep. Well, good for them. Yeah, good for them. They need to. I think they're trying to expand. Yeah, they the, the amount of people. No, no, not the vaccine. Oh. They're trying to expand who can actually administer it. That's the real mm. problem. Oh. Oh, it's yeah. not that they don't have enough. It's that they don't have people. They under the guidelines. They don't have people qualified to give that. Ex- to stick that. Yeah. So, so they're trying got to every, it look, it could be like Walmart, CVS. Yeah. yeah. Let CVS get on it. <laughs> yeah. They got every, look, dude. Out here in Tennessee, they, Katniss Everdeen will give you that shit, bro. They got people just <laughs> yeah, fire bro, they away, got, dog. Really they got Hunger people giving that. Tell me, kicking off Hunger Games. We gonna, we gonna start. With, <laughs> I'm just man, saying, bro. Last name. <laughs> People giving that thing however they want out here, man. It's getting wild, bro. They don't even know Dude. what's going on outside of Yeah, California. but when you leave, just take a left, and you I'm will see just oldies, just silver hair down the block. So it's like voting. They taking up a lot of time. They, you know, it could be faster, but these old And they fuckers. don't, and they're patient. It's yeah. cold out. Then they yeah. give a fuck. My parents already got it. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah, they pull that off. Well, they, I think that because they had extras, because, you know, they have, if they don't use it, they got to throw it away. So when, when the frontline workers don't take it, because a lot of them don't want to take it, which a is crazy, yeah. then they go, they call uh, senior living places. Oh, and that's where damn. your parents are at? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, so they got. Your the parents are in shot. senior living, Eric? Yeah, my parents are in like this independent living place. You know, all the rich and famous got it already. Well, the real oh, I know. famous people, you know, Justin Timberlake had it already. Like, I, don't, I heard really Sean Penn got it. I have no problem with that. <laughs> no. No. What so, are you going to do? Yeah, he employs a lot of people. So yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> what are you going to do? I mean, the man yeah. makes great music. I mean, what are you going to do? Know. I mean, uh, who, who, how are we supposed to decide? I heard Sean Penn has it. Has what? He got the vac- vaccination. The COVID or Because I, I think, that, obviously, the no, government he got the vax. It. He got the vaccination. And that Haitian dude, I heard he got it from... Um, some forty one or something. What was that band with the uh, Haitian? Wyclef Jean. Nobody was Wyclef Haitian. Jean. Some Wyclef. Oh, uh, refugees. Wyclef. Refugees. My bad. <laughs> yeah, the refugees got it. Some forty one. I must have missed it. That, uh, I didn't know Wyclef was part of that band. <laughs> that'd, like be some, saying, that'd be right? something forty one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the remake. I look like before and after being a little bitch. That's what y'all look like. <laughs> Really? Who's really? The That's after? where we're gonna go. Yeah. Huh? You look like hey, I'm not you look like you I'm... talking shit from like a sequestered jail cell right now. So I don't even wanna <laughs> Yeah, the last setup I've seen this shitty was R. Kelly. <laughs> yeah. You look like he looked like Snowden. You know what I mean? Like he's like in some like <laughs> like, like he's in like yeah. Ecuador someplace. Yeah. Cause he'll get arrested if he sets yeah. foot in California. You can't know where you're located. <laughs> I know, Damn, but bro. Theo get a he he was it was gonna be Little Wayne then Theo to get the Trump pardon. <laughs> <laughs> he was how next the on the list. Little, he was next. <laughs> was how did Little and Wayne get Joe Exotic or Theo? Yeah, yeah, they were like, "Damn, it's so, oh, like, yeah, they both pretty gay." <laughs> <laughs> Joe Theo. I would how, not how have been pissed. shocked if Theo showed up on Joe Exotics. <laughs> Be I'm dope. trying to get on the new. They're, they're making a TV show with Nicolas Cage playing uh, Joe Exotic before what happens on Tiger King. It's about him when he's growing up. I'm trying to get on the. Uh, How is Nicolas Cage, who's 85, gonna play <laughs> CGI him when he's young? C- I don't understand CGI. that. CGI. Yeah. Like Joe Pesci. I don't think it's a good idea to have somebody like Nicolas Cage who already has like a reputation of like craziness. Yeah, we and but we also play somebody because all we're gonna see is Nicolas Cage. Yeah, you're right. I'm not gonna see Tiger King. I can't suspend my disbelief. I'm gonna see is this a Nicolas Cage documentary? Also, how 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 hard are we gonna squeeze this Tiger King thing? Oh, I've seen it. I'm all set, man. We know how it ends. Yeah. Yeah. I thought they were gonna cast Dak Shepard. Well, uh, yeah, no, I, I don't know, but I, yeah, I know Nicholas Cage is playing, is yeah, playing is. Joe Exotic. 
Um, what do you think? Do you think that it was Trump was close to pardoning Tiger King, or you think there was no chance? Do you have, you guys have any intel on that? They said he was thinking about it. They brought it up at the meetings and shit. Who knows? Wait, but this is a guy who had a button for Diet Coke. First of all, I want to be at that meeting. Like, did they have a, <laughs> a like a vision board up? And it was like <laughs> Lil Wayne is up there, Kodak Black. Yeah, yeah. Like who? <laughs> Like, just all the like, old white people were like, yeah, and they were just like, hmm, like, how did they decide? How did he even come up? I don't even understand how they. I don't. Do you really think it was Trump that came up with these lists? His son came up with it. Well, his there, son's well, there, kind well, of there, in the, well. There you go. In the known and brought up Joe Exotic, and then I think Trump was like, all right, we'll think about it. Did and they then, really think about it? Like, I don't they had know. some good cards at the end, though. Remember, they had. Uh, I mean, Trump tried at the end. He tried. He got Little Wayne to vouch for him because Little Wayne was trying to get a pardon. Obviously, so there was a trade off going on there. That's obvious. I feel like. I, but I, the Kodak Black one's weird. Well, that's how you get the streets back too. You know what I mean? What you mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, I agree. You're getting kicked out of office. He was like, let's, let's Little Wayne. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, they yeah. <laughs> like him, right? He's gonna be in the next video. That's probably the yeah, deal, you're right? <laughs> Little Wayne, Cat Williams. Yeah. Why not? He oh, should have got R. Kelly out if you really want to be. Lit. This is what he's. This is what he tweeted. No. He could tweet from jail. Yeah. Oh, he has someone tweet for him. Oh, I was too uh, innocent and too gay. Well, I only mattered Don Jr. Seemed- when he needed to make a comment about me to boost his social media post. Boy, we're all stupid to believe he actually stood for equal justice. His corrupt friends all come first. Yeah, this dude didn't even verify. This is this could be some idiot with a fucking picture. <laughs> no, it's him. It's he. It, he's he has some. You people don't know that it's him. him, Brendan. You don't know that it's him. You guys aren't following him. I'm surprised. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Seems right on brand for you guys. <laughs> 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 Theo, Theo had his like business partner on his show. What? What? Who was that? Who, who's the tiger dude you had on your show, Theo? Oh, wasn't it the Doc manager Anna. guy? The, the guy that was running the place. That guy was cool though. That's a cool dude. Oh, no, no, well, you the, had the other guy on. What was it? Yeah, the, uh, we had Doc Annell. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah. all a little too into Tigers. No, this guy, no, Theo had the the, the Mormon-type cult leader guy. Who he was a fucking guy. guy. Yeah, he had like seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you saw the whole time Theo like, was like, yeah. and so then you did what? <laughs> <laughs> and then a Tiger will cost how much a year exactly? Look yeah. at it. And then you had his son on too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, his son is dope, man. They're both dope, actually. I think they run a good outfit over there. If you want to do something, you want to make a sexy video, everybody's been over there. Shaq's been over there. <laughs> Russell Simmons. Undertaker. Yeah, yeah. You don't know that. Everybody. The chimp Queen was in Latifah. the video in the interview the whole time, Theo? Queen Latifah's been over there. <laughs> We have a stand, King and the Sting crew has a standing invite to go to Doc Andel's reservation, his 22 oh. room mansion in uh, I'm not, South I'm Carolina. Not surprised. <laughs> and we, and stay go. at his mansion? Yeah. With all them wild animals yeah. and shit? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what city is it in? Uh, Some places, one of the Carolinas. I don't, I don't know. I'm surprised Kid Rock's 50th birthday wasn't at. <laughs> 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 that seems right in the line. <laughs> oh, the Limp Bizkit's Bar Mitzvah is actually there that Theo will be at. <laughs> yeah, with a turtleneck on. Yeah, a hot turtleneck. <laughs> Theo, this will make you happy, dog. Look what I brought for your bitch ass. Mm-hmm. Lay that money out. Let me tell you, Eric, let me teach you a little something because I know that's your son right there with you. <laughs> what I'm telling you is your son right now is paying me $1,000 because he bet against an American legend, Mr. Dustin the Diamond Poirier, baby. He, he, he betted against him, and he lost. I lost. I, I told you it was going to be a close fight, though. I told you it was uh, even money, is dog. This, is this fighting talk? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this male toxicity. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't like the fights, Eric? No, man. I, I don't like violent sports like that. I just Do you can't. watch football? I know football is the only violent sport I watch, but even when something violent happens, I'm like, oh. Turn it off? Yeah, I just – look, when, when I see what happened – when I see Muhammad Ali in his later years, yeah, I see that, and I know that it's directly related to – Boxing, yeah. I just think to myself, is was this worth it? Like all those guys, man. When you see them, when you like Evander Holyfield and all these guys, when they talk and it's just their faces all messed Brother, up. And to, I go, was this worth it? If you had to deal with, I deal with on a weekly basis from fighters call me who have problems from CT. You That's would. what I'm saying. Like, so I just I can't. I can't. We're like we're one step away from them signing a waiver that they could be killed in the ring. I mean, it's just we're so close to that. I just I, – I don't like it. You Do you not deal with any of it, like movies, TV shows? You don't like any like... – I know the movies are fake, so that's different. What about 300? Would you watch it or are you going to just close your eyes? <laughs> that's a good point. Listen, I didn't say I was against fake violence. I'm against What about my violence. girl when a boy gets stung by the bees? 
<laughs> Can you handle it or you shut it down? You know, I thought I, mi- I, thought I missed Theo. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in hot. We had one what about up? Send- what about up when the balloons take the house away? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do then? Hey, you look you know you cried at the beginning of up. Don't act like <laughs> oh, that didn't move so you. <laughs> up what about so in Seoul when he fell into the pothole? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. Have you, you seen Seoul? Do you, you know you look Here like the Here we go. I, I'm so tired of this. Like, oh, really? Uh, hundreds of messages oh, really? on Instagram. I mean, like your yeah. new movie. You look good in this. I'm like, oh, my yeah. God. But you could play the off-Broadway live play. You could be the main <laughs> yeah, yeah. character. I'll Way off-Broadway. Off but this was weird to me. I didn't know what, what it was about mm-hmm. until like then it turned into like a death movie. And I was like, oh, this is weird. Yeah, my son was like, what is happening? I'm like, yeah. I don't know, dude. Let's put on Nick at night. <laughs> yeah, but your son said that because it was like, is he black? Why are they doing a movie? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why is it? Why are all of them black? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that, they're not used to that in Disney. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. But I want to ask you this: so, Eric, a lot of this, there's a, definitely a big push nowadays. If you see commercials or television or uh, even drawings, where a lot of there's a lot more black artists and black performers, entertainers. Um, working these days, uh, suddenly every commercial, everybody's mixed in it, and they both brushing their teeth, and everybody's black, you know. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is, do you know? Do you notice more work for you these days? Like, uh, no, because they don't some go diversity. They don't. <laughs> yeah, that's a different. <laughs> they don't go mixed race. They don't go ambiguous race. But when oh, I wow. see, I, but by the way, I was talking about this too because when I see this, it just seems so transparent. Like it's hard to get past so many years of everything being white. And mm-hmm. so then when you finally, now you have it mixed, you kind of go, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, why are they doing this? Yeah, yeah. you know. So I agree. We'll, get you, we'll get used to it. And then it, it, it'll, be, it'll just be commonplace and we won't think about it anymore. Was your dad or was your mom? My mom's, my mom looks more like me. My mom's fair skinned, uh, you know, but, and I, but I have an aunt. My aunts look like Oprah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have, I have a wide range of. Um, uh, Y'all got that buffet, buffet bro. Looking, yeah. The look, Y'all know, got that real buffet. You know, so it is what it is. I mean, I wish I wish I would get more work. <laughs> now, have you thought of darkening up a little? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about getting the sun a little thin, a little tanner, darkening. What? Up. And what would that entail? Because Charlemagne was dark. Know. You, know, you, know, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of uh, I remember doing a com- uh, uh, a commercial audition many years ago when I first started in the business, and the guy said to me after the audition, he goes, "Can you um, maybe do it? Do it more hmm, urban." Urban, and I was oh, like, no. I said, oh, no. black. You want it more black, you know? And he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like you, you got, a, like you got a bowl of weed in front of you, and you oh, go, swear no. to God, swear to God, I'd never oh. forget that. That's what Theo just did. <laughs> <laughs> but you know I'm gonna you do ever, that. You ever think of blacking it up? <laughs> you ever think of black? You ever think going darker? <laughs> now, now, Charlemagne, go, Charlemagne from Breakfast Club went the opposite way. He was really yeah, dark, and then got got money and got lighter. He get Which white, is a weird yeah. move. Oh, he will be Asian in about, in about six years. <laughs> well, then, that well that'll be in. Well, they just had they had their thing. You know? Well, Schultz might take his darkness. Schultz might get darker. That's true. Sean Mann gets lighter. <laughs> oh, Schultz is that dark hunter, bro. He will really. Uh, <laughs> he'll fucking take your darkness while you're sleeping, dude. Theo, what are you gonna do with this money, dog? What are you gonna do with the grand? With that grand, Don't I try got, sniffing bro. it, daddy. Let me think what I like to do, bro. Might get my face done or something. Might get a little Botox, bro. Ooh, all uh, right. Botox. Why, why, don't you buy, buy, why don't you buy some of uh, Dustin Poirier's hot sauce, $1,000 worth of his hot sauce, so you don't have to fight anymore. You know what? I already I already have about $150 worth down, <laughs> downstairs right now. Uh, <laughs> let me think what I'll do. You know what I'm going to do, man? I'm going to donate $500 to the Good Fight Foundation right now. Thanks, so I'll put that out there. And then the other $500... I might give me a couple of necklaces from Coles. <laughs> I still got this one, but First I might all, get a couple. So you still got five hundred and forty-five dollars left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's not gonna save that too much. <laughs> yeah, what you five hundred at Coles? Cold. I get a couch. <laughs> but what necklaces are you gonna get at Coles? <laughs> that's gonna cost. Y'all sleeping on Coles? <laughs> fine jewelers, bro. You guys gotta get over there, man. Oh man, that we gotta Nashville get you. We gotta get you back to LA. Yeah, yeah. that Nashville vibe, man. <laughs> Y'all sleeping on coals, baby. Y'all yeah, sleeping good stuff. on coals, daddy. And they got jewelry for the whole family. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you something right now, and I'll tell you straight up. A lot of times, hydration is, you don't think about it. You don't think that your body's 95% water, 96% water. You never think about it. So you do something, and you don't have as much water in your body. You got 70% water. You're like, damn. You know, Larry's looking a little shorter than usual. 
That's because you got low tide, brother. You got to stay hydrated. And what really keeps me helpful and hydrated is liquid IV. When I'm feeling down and I don't have time to go get an actual IV, liquid IV is the one. Empty the packet into the cup. Get the water. Stir it with a spoon. I like to stir mine for a while so it really makes it good. It's Liquid IV's Energy Multiplier. That also helps when you need a boost. Do you have a favorite flavor? They got all the flavors. This and that, that and this, berry, everything, orange. The boost you get from one to two cups of coffee without the crash, that's what comes with Liquid IV Energy Multiplier, a mixture of matcha, wayasa, and ganger. That's high in antioxidants, helps improve mood and focus. Liquid IV is on a mission to positively change the world. The company has donated over 6.7 million servings globally. Grab your energy liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use promo code KATS at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use promo code KATS at liquidiv.com. L-I-Q-U-I-D-I-V.com. Start fueling your adventures today at liquidiv.com, promo code K-A-T-S. All right, do you have a hard time taking pills? So do I. I've been there. I've been hard, and I've not been hard. You know, I got that penis like soil. You know, you never know. Sometimes you're going you're gonna to hit rock, and sometimes you're just going to be able to dig forever, and that's got that soft, that you know, that baby bread. But what I'm telling you is that you can change it with chewables from Blue Chew, they can be taken on a full or empty stomach. You can swim if you want. doesn't matter. It only takes a few minutes to connect with BlueChew.com, an affiliated physician. And if you qualify, you get prescribed online quickly. No in-person doctor visit. No awkward conversation. No waiting in line at a pharmacy. Ships directly to your, to your door in discreet packaging. The chewables from BlueChew.com are made in the USA. And you and your partner will love it. Cause if you get hard, they get it. They get they get a hard they get your heart on. So they get served out. Here's a great deal for you guys. Visit bluechew.com. Get your first order free when you use promo code KATS. Just pay five dollar shipping. That's B L U E C H E W dot com. Promo code K A T S. Oh, I gotta send you my text too, Nick, that Brent that uh Dustin sent me. Well that was a that was a nice flex right yeah. there. <laughs> oh, they're tight. They're tight. <laughs> I want to have Michael Chandler and Dustin Poirier on the next this past weekend, hopefully calling in. Here's what I got. It's Sunday at 2.54 a.m. It said, tell Brennan, B-R-E-N-N-A-N. <laughs> he owes well, you some Well, he's in Dubai, hasn't slept. He knows how to spell my name. <laughs> I, know, <laughs> no, I don't think, look, and Dustin will be the first one to tell you, spelling name really is fucking, you know, his <laughs> forte, point. you know. But he said, tell <laughs> Brennan, you, he said, tell Brennan he owes you some cash, maybe. <laughs> that's what he said. I brought the oh, that's cash. the dude you bet against. Yeah. yeah. Why'd you bet against yeah. him? Yeah, it's a great question, Eric. Thank you. <laughs> Why'd you bet against him? I'm, I'm, actually, I'm closer with Dustin. Because you were so confident on it. I wasn't yep. that confident. I kept telling Theo, I was like, Doug, if you're going to bet on this, it's not bad to bet on Dustin because Vegas has it 3-1. to one. This is a good fight, man. Connor hasn't fought yeah, that much. Yeah, but you bet him. Yeah, because so it's, it's fun for the show. Oh, I actually okay. want to bet him more, too. And I was like, I'll bring cash, Doug, whatever you want to do. All right. So you have no, no, I appreciate the bet. That, Look, seems I like a, a, that seems like a soft answer mm -hmm. right there. That seems like a backpedaling answer. Yeah, a little bit. Just mm -hmm. say you think he's a bitch. Just say it. <laughs> no, <laughs> man, no. Just say it. Right to, just right on camera. Just put, get, put, put it out there. there. Like zoom him in. <laughs> zoom him in right now. <laughs> you didn't think he had it in him anymore. Yeah. No, it was crazy. Dude, did he uh, He seemed angry after the fights. Did you, did you sense that a little bit, Brendan? Yeah, I think so. The the disrespect, right? Like they're like, yeah. oh, we fight Chandler next. He's like, God, what are we doing? He's like, Chandler just beat a guy I already beat. You know how the you look at my body of work. It's like, give me the goddamn belt. And he's yeah. not getting paid like the yeah. guys that he's fighting, right? So he fought, he fought Khabib. Khabib made more money than God. Poirier lost that fight, but got paid shit. He fights Connor. Connor makes more money than God. Dustin gets fucked over there again. So I think he's just sick of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I agree. But, don't, agree, but isn't it the business? Isn't that the entertainment portion of it? That this, there's no fairness in it. Conor McGregor's the name. Whoever he fights, it's going to make a lot of money, right? There's yes. So there, then there, 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 there's fairness within. It's the same as comedy. Like there's market value. 
So how many tickets you sell on the road is how much money you're going to make. I know, I know, but okay. You know what I'm saying? So okay, but let me Connor give, that's sells a good example. I don't know, but that's, that's why a, he makes more money. I know, but that's a good example. Because yeah. what, what this guy is saying is, I'm funnier than that guy. I'm clearly a better comedian, but the market value is this other guy. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. saying you might be better. Right, right. that's what paying, I'm saying. More, more that's people what are it paying is. money to see this guy. Right, so right. So we're going to pay this guy more so money. The, so he's, so that, that's what I'm saying is he needs to understand that it doesn't work about – like they, people don't get paid based off their skill value. They I get know. paid based off like whatever the thing is. Yeah, it, it, and it's kind of a shame because you know the UFC is a sport because in the NFL or NBA – you know, if you're the best player in the game, you're gonna be compensated like the best player in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, right. in, yeah. In the UFC, you're talking about or even for real that team. shit, real but, but, shit. Yeah, but then does that and mean they don't that get the, paid? But does that mean that the UFC is not, um, it's not run? Say, it's based more on that than it is like the like like a a, a fair and equitable way Correct. of doing it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, it, it's, it's, it's like it's, there's a league and it's like you have seedings and it's like if you have this they many, do, though, like like Dustin Poirier is ranked number two, Connor's number four. But Connor do they care about that? No, not really. Yeah, well, that's it's, what I'm it's more ran like the WWE. Shouldn't it be like a tournament? Like it starts. There should be a fight season, and then it's like er, er, you fight a certain number of fights for the entire year, and then it's like, oh, we have the number one seed versus mm-hmm. this, and then they yeah, have they, a pot at the end of the year. They do that in uh, World Series. Or what is it? PFL. The PFL does that mm-hmm. on ESPN. But Million dollar prize. Nobody. I never even heard of it, so that's why it's not. There, popular. there you go. Yeah, <laughs> I was just gonna say nobody knows what that the is, PFL. especially watching this show. That sounds like 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 this. You, it's a bad. Name. Like the Filipino league yeah, or something. Yeah, <laughs> it just doesn't. Seem. I think he also said, you know, that they had two weeks where they were sit- just sitting there stuck in that place, man. That must have been. We well, so got a quarantine. Right? You can't leave the room. Yeah. And then, you know, and then it, it's the. Oh, the I- was this one on the island? Yeah. Was it the island? Uh, I think Abu Dhabi. The, but the island's great. What a good idea. They can't leave, though. I mean, the island's not this city block. I'm sure it's. Well, no, they can't they leave their hotel room. Island. They can't leave their hotel room. Oh. They're like stuck in there. Yeah, but how much money did he get? 750 I thought I saw. Plus, he'll, plus he get a bonus. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I, he'll, he'll make he'll make over a mil. Okay, so for a million dollars, you can stay in your hotel room for a few. Yeah, weeks. I'll stay in my hotel. Room. Right? Yeah. Uh, you know, it's not like yeah, cry me a river. Not, yeah, and he's like a champion. Thirteen fifty an yeah. hour. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he ain't working at Coles in yeah. Tennessee. You know I what I mean? Hit hey. in the face, so you got a little. Coles is great, bro. <laughs> but hey, man, I think they got to give the man the belt. Who else is he gonna fight? You know what I'm saying? Get pay the man, Dana. Pay the man. <laughs> Uh, let's see this Cats fan. He was pretty hyped uh, when Dustin got the finish. Go, Dustin! Come on, come on, baby! Come on! Come on, Dustin! Yeah! Who's saying hands up? Wow! I told you guys! I fucking told you! He's shirtless. <laughs> Wow. You can't have your shirt on and fucking love Dustin Diamond Poirier. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now, bro. Okay? I was completely naked by the end of the fight. But that's just a Thursday for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I watched it at a bar. And you know what? On behalf of King and this thing, I'm going to take that thousand. I'm going to donate the whole thing to Good Fight Foundation, man. I'm sorry for being nice. cheap, bro. Hell Let's yeah. go, baby. You know, Let's go. You're like, baby. I'm going to donate 200 to Dustin Poirier's <laughs> Foundation. I was like, Thanks for Bro, it's getting bro. rocky out here, fam. Look, we got everybody getting these fucking vaccines. We don't know who's going to make it, who's going to sprout a fucking clitoris off their back. We don't know. <laughs> Nobody knows what's going to happen. Are you one of those? You, you, one of those? you think you'll get gills? You want to know? Oh, bro. <laughs> they just made this shit in three months, bro. Where they been making it at? Yeah, but <laughs> the lab, the same place the virus came Dude, from. Dude, the entire world, science, the entire <laughs> smartest minds in the world, smartest minds in the world came like, together. We need to work on this. I, yeah. I think they can figure it out. I'm gonna trust yeah, those. I hope guys. they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not. The I hope they can. But I'll tell you, this, I ain't gonna be the of. first round of people to try it out, bro. Okay. Well, the first rounds out. The the first teams out outside the door here. Yeah. They're getting Dude, it. I'm just the same saying. people that are affected by COVID the most. Right. The ones getting the vaccine first, so we can kind of see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, let's test it out right now with pe- people's grandma. That's how they're doing it right now. Yeah, that is what they're doing, bro. There's a lot Are of. We looking in there, Nana. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel pretty good. All right, I get and it. And if we hear her go, ha ha ha, 
and we'll be like, nope. <laughs> I'm away for the second round. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the third batch, man. That's what I'm waiting Shit, for. Shit, I hope I get a tail out of it, dog. I don't give a fuck. Have you heard about yeah. the vaccine chasers? There's like young kids. Like you said, they throw them out at the end of the day if they don't fill them all. So there's young people going to like vaccine centers that are in like underprivileged areas and just like camping out till the end of the day, like hoping they get it. And it's like working. So like kids in their twenties are getting the vaccine. They just want to get immune. Wow. So they yeah. can start but they're literally camping. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I hope that, I hope it's not like, you know, they're standing outside and the dude comes out, he throws it in the dumpster. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> and then these people like, I'm going to let's go get it. I hope yeah. the guy goes, all right, vaccines, you know, I hope they are doing it like that. Yeah. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like a donut shop at the end of the night. Right, right. Yeah. You don't, you don't like put just them out. hand them to me, dog. <laughs> don't make me get them out of the trash. <laughs> if they just Dude, put them in the dumpsters, some, I would yeah. be messed up, man. It's like Fight Club. Start, you know, remember, yeah, dog. You know, you're getting the fat from the, the trash. Yeah. <laughs> Those we got to get start getting get some, some of these chicks man. vaccinated. We got to start getting some women vaccinated because I will say this, and I'm going to be honest with you, brother. A lot of women, Ben, you can't even find a woman out there nowadays. You go door to door and all the bitches in hiding. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, it, nobody knows where the chicks are. They hide and they say, people say, oh, where the bitches at? And people say, I, I don't know. So what I'm saying is. We got to get these chicks vaccinated. Get them back out there, man. Yeah, it sounds like you're trying to convince us to go gay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. I'm saying we're gonna lose population, bro. Yeah, whatever, Doug. <laughs> what do you got, Nick? Uh, let's get in some debate club. What's up, Theo? What's up, Brendan? Guy. It's Mr. A, teacher out here in Northern California. Yeah. Sitting in my classroom right now. Figured I have a debate club for you. Favorite book you ever read in high school? Personally, my favorite that hitter, that OG. The original King in the Sting of Mice and Men. Mm. Big, strong guy, little guy out there doing work together. Hopefully with you two, uh, Theo doesn't take Brendan to see the rabbits, okay? We know who, which one Brendan that, is. Just go ahead let me know what you think. Longtime fan. Really enjoy you guys. You guys make me laugh all the time. Uh, special shout out to Kat, my stepmom, who I call my mom, the woman that raised me. Uh, she's straight out of Vietnam. So a lot of times when you talk about that part of your background, I totally, uh, totally resonate with that. You too, Brendan. I got two little boys, same age as you. So I enjoy all those stories. Wishing you guys all the best. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Take me to see the wabbits. Do your homework. Later. Do your homework. Look, I'm going to say this out the gate, man. This man is a little too handsome, bro, in the homo, to be working at a uh, high school, bro. He said, he, oh, he did say high school. Because mm -hmm. it looks like college. Bro, you got to be a little ugly to work at his high school, I think, because Not otherwise you're going to end though, up in trouble. All the teachers hooking up with the kids. But that's what I'm saying. This guy is it's really you're going to cause a lot of trouble, bro. You yep. can't be handsome and be teaching at a high school, dude. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Conflict so, of interest. So really. you're yeah, so you crazy, bro. Handsome people. <laughs> Do you have dude, any we had a teacher, bro. Up? I don't remember it like that. Me neither. No. Like I see these teachers that are just slanging tits towards these kids and it was we had miss garofola dude and she used to have that brazier that like locked the titties up you know what i'm talking yeah. about the brazier that was like it started at the neck bro and George finished Washington at the mid Brazilers. belly Hell oh yeah, yeah. like oh. So her 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 chin can touch her titty like, bam, yeah. like just like that so it was her like, shit was locked titty. the fuck up <laughs> you could see on the back it had a little padlock on it that shit was you would never no one was ever gonna see her tits you know <laughs> god she was beautiful praise god <laughs> uh, so his question's favorite book in high school. Now, I, I, my question I'm is: to think high school. No, books. no, but I'm I'm wondering <laughs> yeah, trying for to think like books. reading for pleasure or reading big for. I like, think his thing was like curriculum, the ones you're forced book? to read. But oh, I don't even remember any but, books I read, or just your favorite. What? But I think that's what he was asking for. Asking oh, for. yeah. I mean, I go. With, what do you I, mean y'all don't remember books. any books, bro? Y'all fucking dumb, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't remember the books. So I, I'm, I'm older than both of y'all, so. This but still, they, they, haven't, they haven't really changed the books. What's interesting is, you know, they make you read the book. Name a book, bro. Neither one of y'all can notes. name a damn book. I read more book. books now, way more than I did yeah. in high school. Actually, and I, read, I can read what in the high fuck school. I, I read like a lot of science fiction, fantasy books for pleasure. Like mm. the book I remember reading is Dragonlance. I remember <laughs> that was the first book I read. I picked up and I was like, oh, this is great. And I just read all of them. I loved it. Yeah, it was the books they forced Man. you to read were never that fun. Yeah, it was like Fahrenheit. Uh, what was it? Yeah. I remember like Charlie yeah. and the Chocolate Factory. That was my jam. I remember I got a little bit into that R.L. Stein shit. And Goosebumps. Oh, yeah. Goosebumps, like dude. That was last year, Judy Brendan, when you got into that. Too. Yeah. Theo, we're talking look, about school. Why don't you sit this round out, huh? Yeah. 
He what, said it, what, he, what books did your mom make you read, Theo? He's all <laughs> Spider-Man, Thor. <laughs> no coupons to the local <laughs> Coles. <You know. laughs> hey, look. Let me tell y'all some books because y'all obviously sleeping. The Scarlet Letter, bro. Okay? Yeah, I remember you had to Scarlet read that. Letter. Brendan, the Cliff Notes. You had to read those. Yep. Okay? Second of all, what about that book, How to Eat Fried Worms? That was a good book <laughs> you had to read as a child. One of my favorites, Jonathan Livingston Seagull, bro, about a bird that fucking and um did his best <laughs> also what about <laughs> um what about uh my side of the mountain one of the best books ever as a kid Ty type in uh high school books nick because <laughs> they're, they're still reading them today they haven't changed the curriculum it's all the same shit they need to switch that shit up well, until, until somebody decides that the book is not good and then they get canceled. well think the about book, the history books book gets canceled. like we know the history that they teach is full of shit Oh, yeah, now the stuff is really full of shit, like man. Columbus, it all just... and all, The Great Gatsby, Fire, To Kill a Mockingbird, Getting a Little Old, Romeo oh, yeah, and Juliet. Lord of, Lord of the Flies, mm -hmm. there's Catcher one Catcher in right the there. Rye. I remember Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies was good. Yeah. Yeah. They needed more chicks in it, though. <laughs> 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 they did. Uh, Catcher in the Rye, uh, responsible for John Lennon's death. Yep. That's what they say. Mm-hmm. What else? Encyclopedias. Macbeth was brutal. Yeah, they don't even oh. have those anymore. Encyclopedias. You guys even like who even they goes to the tablets. library? They got tablets. <laughs> the last time like, like a kid today homeless people went to the, library. the library. Never. Yeah. Wait, they're reading Twilight in school now. Why the fuck That's would crazy. they read Twilight in school? I guess that's what they're doing. Hogwarts, all that shit is popular in school now. <laughs> I used to love the movie days when we would take a week to watch Malcolm X. Yeah. I used to love that. Good old days, watching movies. Yeah. Dude, they had a lot of good books when we was kids, man. Um, Not really. But, I, but my favorite was My Side of the Mountain. It was about a young man from New York. He caught a bird, and he went out there. Sounder, remember that book? Hatchet. Hatchet was tight. Hatchet was tight, dude. Yeah, uh, someone looked up a list of books for the show. <laughs> God, you're not fooling anybody. <laughs> yeah, you know, you see him looking yeah, down. So all, you know what I mean? You see him looking down. the Ree was you know, cool. <laughs> you know, the, the mice one. Remember the mice one? Mice of, one? Mice of uh, <laughs> men's. Why'd you put an S on the end? Mice yeah. and men's. You know what I noticed about him? He takes S's off words that should have S's and puts S's on words <laughs> that don't have S's. Whatever, you know? man. Y'all's a couple homo. Like, it's Russell Simmons with an S. <laughs> yeah. But he goes, you know Russell Simmons? <laughs> he, just Russell said Simmons. You, he just said y'all a bunch of homo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Praise God, baby. And who's this freaking diligent city worker right here? This guy who obviously has his fucking all of his paperwork. What up, Shaw? What up, Theo? Nick, Chin, Coach of Corner? I got a debate club for you. Okay. Oh, and before we get to that, Brendan, am I not thick enough for the thick boy bite game? No, you in, dog. Let me know. <laughs> We're still reviewing your so application. So the debate club is the beer. them heavy equipment hitters with that AC, Bluetooth radio, backup camera, heater, or them on the ground, Larry the Lock Splitter Quitter labor hands. Let me know. Buzz, buzz. Gang, <laughs> gang. <laughs> so Damn. operating heavy machinery or manual. That looked like your son, Eric. That looked like your son. <laughs> so everyone's my son now. <laughs> <laughs> Prolific. I'm just, I, I'm just out here. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm saying, here's what I'm saying is you could do blackface and not get in trouble. We would get in trouble. <laughs> and let's be honest, Brendan. We, Brendan we, did we a little of his house that one time. Here, we're yeah, back to that. For some reason, once you just go real dark. <laughs> yeah. He wanted me to come in here Wesley Snipes style <laughs> yeah, one day. Your racism showing out there in Nashville, Theo. <laughs> I'm not saying that, uh, man. I'm just saying you can if you want to. We can't. Theo's, Theo's got a paper bag next to his door, <laughs> and he holds that up to make sure. <laughs> How dark are you? Are you paper bag dark? Dude, he hung out with Kid Rock and he's changed, man. Yeah, you're different now, man. We saw Living that party. my life in a slow hell. The white party, Doug. Uh, um, to answer that guy's questions, like, we're talking about bulldozers and shit? That'd be fun. Yeah, like, that's yeah, not even cool. Like, so you're saying, you want me to lift the rocks myself? <laughs> yeah. Or be in, like, an air-conditioned... <laughs> With yeah. a radio and Bluetooth. That thing was dope. Listen yeah. to tunes, knocking shit yeah, over. Like the, what kind of dumb choice is that? Man. 
Yeah, listen to some Sade and lifting the rocks up with mm. the machine. I say go hand, bro. I like hand to hand type stuff. I like stuff like uh, origami, but with heavy paper, like you know, so it's harder for your hands. Or knitting with like a f- 50, 80 pound test yarn, so it's tougher for your fingers. You build some strength. Hell yeah! All right. <laughs> All that was gay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, bro. Darken up and come at me, fam. <laughs> uh, what is up, King of the Stand Podcast? Rice. This is Ian coming at you from Georgia here with the Debate Club question for the Culture Corner. Cat Chappelle, wet white people, do we have a smell? Um, Tom Segura mentioned this on your mom's house podcast. They talked about it. Miss Pat mentioned it on her podcast as well. Is there some truth to this, or is it a cultural stereotype that's persisted from generation to generation? I got to know. Uh, so weigh in on it, debate it. Also, if you need somebody for the culture corner, let me know. I just graduated. I don't have a job, and you guys don't have enough straight white males on the podcast anyways. That's a Thanks, fair guys. point. <laughs> that's a fair point, young man. Very good point. If you're a different color, you'd probably be in. Um, he's saying that white people have a certain smell or white people that use wet wipes. He, he's asking if white people have a smell. Oh. I don't know. I do. I don't, do we? Eric, what do you think? I, I have. I have. Well, I don't know. <laughs> that's smelling, me. You might be smelling chin. <laughs> <laughs> and Nick's a certain kind of white. He's from Wisconsin, so they they're stinky. And yeah, then Nick smells here. like an indoor. Nick smells like an indoor white. I feel like. <laughs> <Indoor> white. <laughs> Nick smells like an indoor pool. <laughs> yeah, no. He's an indoor white, so he don't have to have chlorine on him or nothing like that. He, <laughs> yeah, Nick smells like indoor white. Yeah, I there's think certain scents, ethnic- like when you walk into like your friend's uh, house, like in high school or middle school, there, there's a certain scent mm-hmm. about the, maybe the food they cooked or the deodorant. I don't know. Or, I yeah, don't, some it's, people- it's always different. Like if you walk oh, through think- an apartment, it's like oh, oh, yeah, seven black- different flavors. I think this is just a silly joke that's gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> I think my friends that are no. white do smell different, though. Because I'm around Chan, tell us more. So Do they smell well, like success? success? Maybe that, we smell different. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you just smelling like clean air when yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's no kimchi. There's no hot sauce. Yeah. There's no We're not beef fish and broccoli. Eyes. Yeah. yeah. It might be us. <laughs> <laughs> it might be us. <laughs> there ain't pig feet in the uh, yeah. thing upside down. Yeah. It's like that's yeah. all you that is. Like ribs and make fries. <laughs> you know. <laughs> there's no incense burning. Yeah. You know. It's like so. It's, that's all that is. Yeah. But but even sense. if you go to like Chinatown, there's a distinct For smell, sure. like a heavy yeah. smell. Yeah, different yeah. cultures smell differently, man. I think if you go into like a um, a lot of Indian people's house, smells they smell real spicy, curry, <laughs> or they smell like uh, like maybe kind of towels, maybe damp towels. I think if you go by like a black person's, <laughs> okay. whenever I go into a black person's house, it smells real warm in there, or it smell like a uh, bread maybe, or like a slick or something real slick. Just like, um, hmm, tread light there, buddy. Yeah, I, I had a friend in uh, high school or middle school. He's uh, from Ethiopia, like straight off the boat, Ethiopia. Yeah. And he always had it was weird. I remember I'd go over there to play, and he always had like raw meat in a bowl, just like hanging out. Yeah, so I'm saying. That, <laughs> it was so just the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> like, oh shit! All the ethnic, <laughs> like ethnic stuff, like you know what I mean? Like he, it's like a wet market when you go to like, yeah. a, <laughs> you know what oh, I mean? It's like, yeah. it's just different in different places. The people, like I said, some cultures, they use incense and they use like, you know, they have certain, that kind of stuff has the There's smells. some stinky white people though. Like, just a white, stink- like a white oh, yeah. boy with is definitely different. They're stinky They're, everybody. Or like a white dude with dreadlocks, you know he's stinky. <laughs> well, look, I think also, here's the thing though. I think every cult, a lot, Oftentimes, one culture will smell different to another culture. It doesn't matter who it is. Yeah. Yeah. So I think yeah. sometimes you get some cultures a little bit more like they might smell a certain way. Some people, if they have a pet in their house and the pet pees upstairs in the guest bedroom <laughs> uh-huh. and you don't tell anybody and you let them stay over there for a week and everything smells like piss. Yeah, and that's, that's not bad. a white thing. No, that, that's just a No, but that's thing. everybody. Yeah, that's, yeah, you that's got what that. I'm saying. So there's different. If you like, got so a you grandparent, they might have stink. a smell. Yes. Sometimes your grandmother stinks a little. Yeah, older yeah, but people that's because they get older. Smell. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. grandma's skin bitch. is rotten. Like, their bones is rotten. Bio. She sweats. You know what it is? Is like as you get older, you lose your sense of smell, or you get used to it quick. So you I'm, don't care you if you stink. Stink. I'm learning that even myself. I'm not, I'm like I gotta go. Oh, I gotta. My girl makes me take a shower every night. <laughs> Damn. Really? That's the rule. No matter what time you weren't it is. doing it, that's no racist, what, I, I bro. I take a shower like you know, yeah, in the afternoon. Yeah, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? yeah whenever it's yeah, <laughs> yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever. I don't have a schedule. And then she goes, "You need to take a shower every night." So then you don't, you don't notice until you start to go. What are you talking about? Oh, you know what? Let me yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You just don't. But that's it. racist. I feel like man, making somebody take a shower every day <laughs> at her times. It's a yeah. tight schedule. Yeah, it's a very. I take it probably three, four. I take four showers a week, man. Adult showers, as opposed to 
Baths? Taking, yeah, who taking takes just a, a bath? bath yeah. As a grown man, <laughs> a <laughs> bath? I'll tell I you who, bro. You say, Gay men, man. probably. Oh, you take baths? No, I don't care what you say. I, <laughs> baths are disgusting. I just move. I just get my hair and I got a nice bath bathtub now. So, I mean, I'm in there lounging. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I no, love a good bath. No, yeah, you, you know, take I, a I got, bath? I got bath bombs. I throw them suckers in there. Oh, damn, you were bath shot. Riley, dog. I see your yeah. feet sticking out of the water. Yeah, because I'm so tall that I have to like I have to bathe two parts of my body at a time. Yeah. So I start with the legs, and then you, I get into the, I get the chest with my Theo, legs. Do you my jump feet in out. the tub too? I don't get in a tub, bro. I'm a damn adult. Man. <laughs> Eric uh, sits down with the first of all. You lance. know Theo's in the tub. I don't yeah. even want to hear him. <laughs> he, he over here front. <laughs> Probably on cameo. Yeah, in gonna, the tub. He go. He get that Coles yeah. oil. <laughs> The whole Coles kit. Yeah. yeah, he got the whole bath kit from Coles. You know you in that tub. <laughs> I don't like being in the tub as I get older, man. I don't like it as much, man. Also, I used to, when I was young, it's fun to lay in a tub and look at your body. You know, it's not as much fun as I get older. <laughs> you know that. That's, you know what? That's fair point. Line no, right you, there. You, that's you, why you I put line. like two bath bombs in, and you can't I, see the. I bubbles. get out of the tub once it starts oh. to dissipate, and I'm like, "What is that?" <laughs> <laughs> Today's episode of King and the Sting is brought to you by the Kratom Experts. I'm talking about that super speciosa. That's right. If you've never heard of Kratom, I stay on it. Chin stays on it. On it. Uh, Theo tries to sniff it from Nashville. It's a herbal supplement, kind of like CBD, but instead of coming from the cannabis plant, it's from something close to a coffee tree. People use Kratom every day. I use it every day, multiple times a day, podcasting, stand-up, whatever I'm doing, I'm on that Kratom, son. Unlike other guys, Super Speciosa keeps their Kratom the way nature intended. It's pure. Listen, the Kratom game can get dark. The dark arts, as Theo says. Not with Super Speciosa, not at all. If you're going to try Kratom, it has to be from Super Speciosa, all right? You got to try it out, man. The other companies ain't great, all right? Plus, they're off- offering you guys, I don't know why my voice cracked there like a high school kid. Plus, they're offering you guys 20% off. Go to superleaf.com. That's get superleaf.com. Enter the promo code KATS for 20% off. That's get superleaf.com, promo code KATS. This guy's got another debate club. Uh, his It's pretty this easy uh, debate, guy, huh? but he's quite the character, so I wanted to play his video. What up, what up, Brendan and Theo. It's your coke. boy, Troy Walls, coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee. Uh-oh. Theo, my neighbor, you should have been here in the 90s. Your haircut wouldn't have been that unique. You couldn't throw a rock in any direction without catching a, a mullet or a bolo tie. Anyways, oh, got a debate yeah. club for you. <laughs> Uh, this Theo's real Amen, estate. Brother. I'm on the road. I'm in the steel <laughs> industry. I'm in sales. Yep. Are you using that Apple Maps, that Google Maps, or that Waze? Oh, also, Waze. shout to the Culture Corner. My boy Chappelle, that rancid shirt, straight fire. Get Tim Armstrong on the podcast the pronto. Time, <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Let's go. Also, Cat. Send Theo back with a pair of them gym socks for your boy when he comes <laughs> back home. I like this guy. Gang, gang. <laughs> so buzz, buzz. Sniff, sniff. Yep. Honk, honk, baby. Yeah, boy, we s- sniffing that dandruff. Oh, yeah. The devil's <laughs> dandruff. Yeah, he, that's already on, grand. Man. He's on one, man. He'll sell the shit out of the oh, house. That looks Hopefully like he's a politician. So much, <laughs> love, so much love. No, Theo fired the culture corner for smelling funny. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. But Chin, what do white people smell like, dude? Tell us honestly, bro. Quit fucking beating around the bush. Quit <laughs> beating around the fucking bush. Is it like a, a musky kind of smell? See, musky is that is that this. so? It's not stinky, but musky. Like, what do you mean, like an older sofa kind of? Yeah, yeah, like old furniture. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Like an old rug. <laughs> You're hanging around the wrong white people, man. Do you clean? Yeah, your it's sofa? us, Brendan. Like, how it's often us, do you, you wipe down your sofa? If you think about how dirty a sofa, that's why sofas get like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's one of those things you don't think. Oh, I gotta wipe down this sofa. <laughs> what what was his debate club? Uh, Waze, Waze, Google Maps, Apple, Apple Maps. Maps. Not Waze. Waze is fucking stressful, yeah. man. This isn't fucking Grand Theft Auto. Every time I want to run to the store and yeah, avoid some much. traffic, shit. Is yeah, Waze. So will, Waze, will, Waze will take you through a funeral. It'd be like Ralph is dead in two miles. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Why are we even going this way? I just use the the whatever the map the regular maps is on Apple. my phone. App. Is that Apple? That's, that, that's Apple. Mm-hmm. I notice with Waze though, so I, I always know when other people are using Waze. 
Cause like you go and you head into a certain place and you make like a turn that you go, I would never make this turn. And there's a bunch. And there's of people like there. three people making that yeah. turn, and we almost yeah. want to look at each other, but you know, put up the W's. Way, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's you up? On that way's turn. I know what you're doing, right? So it's not necessarily a secret, but I don't it's know. Like, I think I like. I think Google's the best. Yeah, yeah it's like other marriage Google. not working out in 40 feet. It's always like, <laughs> what the fuck? This shit seemed real personal, you yeah, know? It's, it's yeah. exhausting. Also, and it tells you where to donate I'm blood sure and where to get you, Arby's. You leave Yelp reviews and YouTube comments, but the people are like acting or cop 10, 10, 10, 10 minutes ahead and shit like well, that. I do like That's that. That's weird. I like it. Yeah. Have you ever done it, though? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, everybody, cops I feel up like here. I'm being a part of the community. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm, do you I'm use, a part of the community. Like, if I drive you, and it you, says. You leave says, Yelp reviews. No, no, no. But Never? if it says, I, there's a cop right here. You bet you, I'm fuck. I'm putting that out. I'm like, yeah, here the car. The pig yep. is right here. <laughs> it's real. I'm you see him, that button. Y'all, y'all look out because he's right here. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Good for it's you. It's helpful. You're a good person. All right. Uh, well, we got one. <laughs> wait, what was this guy asking? Oh, but here's the, what I don't like is the one where you sometimes you click on it and it takes you to the one where it looks like the view is from like outer space. What the fuck is that one, bro? That's the one that <laughs> real scares me. Yeah, I like to get I like to get high and tight with it. But yeah, is that is that Apple the one that does it from basically Mars? Uh you yeah, can that choose like much. a top down view or like your perspective, either one or hybrid. Google Google has like the Google Earth where you can see everything too. I just use the Apple one, man. Yeah. Keep it easy. Just whatever's easy. Like Ways if you hook it up to your phone, whatever hooks up yeah, to that's Apple. Whatever hooks up to the car. Yeah. But they both you can get Google you, or the other. Sometimes Apple don't know where shit is though. Well, sometimes mm -hmm. I'll do Apple and then I'll look up Google and Google has like the better shortcut. That's like, what no, no, like how do you not no, no, update saying, your shit? Apple? I'm saying Google can find stuff that Apple can't. Yeah. Even if you go search, like like you know how you know do it like this, ask Siri something. And then ask Google something, yep. and you'll find mm -hmm. that Google has more options. Mm -hmm. Siri's like limited. It's almost like they. But sometimes ways should be like, what car are you in? Uh, you know, how tough are you? Because it's taking me down when I was trying to get downtown, <laughs> man. I went down seedy <laughs> areas. Theo's Thiel, asked him, "Do you want to be near black people?" <laughs> <laughs> Thiel, yeah. Thiel, are Thiel, you looking for holes? Theo's ways goes. <laughs> how urban do you want to get? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, do you want to avoid like, urban yeah. neighborhoods? <laughs> It's like, are you willing to take? Which MLK actually ain't Jr. a bad option. It's not bad. <laughs> I'm not going. Look, I'll hate. go. I'll go Frederick Douglass Ave, but I'm not going MLK <laughs> Junior Boulevard. You know what I'm saying? So I do kind of make certain choices. You know, it is crazy. Um, that every MLK Boulevard is in a bad neighborhood. I was just saying, <laughs> every I don't, MLK. I don't understand that. Let's avoid do. that, man. Yeah, Damn. I don't understand that. We need to, Dude, we need to I have a dream that. that there is an alternate route. <laughs> um, what about this though? Do you uh, do you remember before they had the Google Maps and shit, Eric? What, what yeah, it was Map like Quest. then? First, Map oh, Quest yeah, was Map the Quest. first one. Remember and Map I, Quest? You had to print that shit off and take dude, it with you. But you don't know how exciting <laughs> it because before that, it was the Thomas guy. Yep. And that Thomas guy was so confusing. So you had to but have that's like, just a LA, fucking, though. like a book. You had to have a tabletop <laughs> book, you know what I mean, in your car to figure out where to go. So then when Map Case, Map Quest came out, I thought I was so cool because I'm like, oh shit, I got it right here. <laughs> Make a left at this corner. But then now, I, man, can you even imagine? I can't even. You can't even explain that to kids. You know what's weird mm -hmm. is when you go to rent a car now, they go, "Do you want the the? Do you want the navigation?" Bitch, you have a phone. <laughs> oh, don't even. It's 2021. They, they yeah. just, that, that's for idiots. Yeah, that's it's for like older people, people. It's like people that buy a hotel porn. Yeah. <laughs> if you still buying hotel porn, yeah. you you getting the fucking yeah. Um, you know what? Yeah, give me the GPS and the <laughs> I'll take the GPS. Go ahead, toss it in there. Yeah, but the throw the GPS in on the rental. Like you a damn fool. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, we got one more debate club. I don't know if you guys heard, but at one of Uncle Joey's shows, somebody tried to attack him with a knife, what? and his opener came and took the guy out. Uh, I sent Nick the video. So it brings up a debate club. If you guys go on the road, and you can have one comic to have your back, who's it going to be? Gang gang? Mm. Buzz buzz. I don't know if this was true, because I didn't hear about it anyplace else, but there was a TikTok that went viral. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. Who are you going to pick, Daddy? Oh. Um... <laughs> I thought I need to see your record first. <laughs> this is it right I here. Mean, ask Croca. <laughs> <laughs> ask Gonzaga. Legends. Legends. <laughs> um, 
I would probably pick Big Easy over there, Brendan Shaw, man. That's who I got to pick. What was your nickname in fighting, Brendan? Uh, it was Big Brown, but before that it was the hybrid. But it's Ooh, Big I'll Brown take... for the last, like, four years, thanks to Brian yeah, Callen. I would say Big Brown, man. I would take Big Brown probably as my hit man. Joe Rogan's maybe with that specialty leg chop he's got. Or I would take Andrew Dice Clay also because Andrew Dice Clay would probably try to help and then get his fucking ass beat because that guy's a piece of shit. <laughs> and, then you, and then you could get away. <laughs> While they're beating the While fuck out of him. Out of you, like, you, I'm out. You know yeah. I mean? While they're beating some old man dressed like Oscar the Grouch, I can fucking sneak <laughs> off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My thing is like, I'm not... <laughs> I just, I'm just, who wants to fight? Like, you don't, I'm, I'm sure you're in a position where you don't want to fight anymore. But, That's, dog, this ain't about you. that, Eric. I don't know Look if I'd here. want him because he would try to avoid the fight. No, I, like, I'd avoid all costs. Exactly. I'm talking, but so. if it came down to it, somebody can put the fucking sleep. <laughs> no, no, but how many times has somebody been out? Okay, but I bet this happens to you a lot. You're out with your boys, whatever. I know what you're saying. And, never, and, never. And everybody's never. like, somebody might be like, you, you don't want to mess with us because <laughs> Big Brown's here, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Big Brown, get up there! Like, Big Brown, oh, hit the head of this. You know, no, you, you, like, you know hey, 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 the not... only time that I thought I was gonna have to use my old skills, dust off the old skills, is when Mark Marin was on stage in the main room, and these two dudes from Australia kept heckling him, and he went hard on him right. and just lit him on fucking fire. And the Mark goes, "Ah, fuck, man, I gotta walk to my car." <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's like, "Come on," he's like, "Be cool," and they kept talking shit to him. And you know the security at the comedy store. God bless what them. What security? Love them. But they're it's hit or guys. Miss. That work there, no yeah, they're not really secure. No security. They're, I got attacked yeah. at the car. They have store. Bluetooth and shit, shit you know, but they're not and they're not exactly in shape. So I stood yeah. there. It's Ari Manis. Yeah, it's kind of Ari <laughs> Manis, and you know, Ugh, and, and, Derek, <laughs> and Derek Post. And so dead. It's not, Ari it's, Manis. Yeah. That's it. I'm dead. I'm like, oh fuck. So you know, it's it's these comics. So I I hung out because I want to make sure Mark was all right. Two times. First of all, I'm not a fighter. I'm a big guy, right? So when you're a big guy, people avoid trying to fight you. Yep. But it don't mean I can fight. Like, you know, uh, and I'm just not a fighter. And I'm a, in my life now, I got more to lose. I'm calling the authorities. We're not getting yeah. to a fight. You know, I'm not starting a fight with you. I mean, if I need to throw some hands, I'll do whatever I can. I always say, you better kill me because I'm not going to stop. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, I've never – so two times this has happened. One time Al Madrigal was on stage at the comedy store, and he was going in on this dude, all right? And then afterwards, Al well, – he gets off stage and he walks to the, the uh, OR box office, right? And I see the dude beeline oh, into no. to Al, right? So I I just walked in front of the guy and stood in front of So you're Al. Yeah, you can't I'm get here. to him. The guy's back here. And I'm just like, good set, man. You did good. Boom, 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 boom. Then the guy just kind of like left. Then Al looked at me. He goes, thank you. Oh, I love it. I love but, it. I, but I'm thinking to myself, oh, God, please don't, this I know, guy don't please hit don't, me. I don't either. With Mark's thing, please I'm like, God, please don't, don't make me do something, man. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. So but I want to protect the comics. Another time, I'm at the Laugh Factory and Dane Cook's on stage, and Dane is going in on these guys, you know? But they were like, this guy Gross. stands up, and it's about to be a thing. And I found myself walk, tr walking over there. But as I was doing that, I thought, what am I going to do? You know what I mean? But, yeah. like, that's just my instinct. It's like when you, you see one of your brethren on stage, no matter who they are, like them or not or whatever, even if they deserve it. Bro, I just feel there's a feeling yeah. of, like, I got to step in and do something. Yeah, I got to help let, I don't know. I'd yeah. let some people get lit up, I think. Say Dude. again? I'd probably let Mark Marin get lit up. I'd let some people get lit. <laughs> Not Mark. Come on, man. Well, sometimes, Legend. Sometimes people need a, a smack <laughs> in the mouth. I'm, I'm, actually with with the, I'm actually with the <laughs> Not Mark, this one. Maybe, Maybe not lit up, but I'd let hit, him take But Mark should have got a little bit of like, hey. <laughs> Somebody should have went like this to him. Be cool, man. <laughs> Watch your mouth. Don't do that shit again. <laughs> I, sometimes people need a little bit of, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, be Watch cool, man. Mouth. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. I'll, I'll tell you, this is how gangster Brian Callen is. This is the closest I've ever been getting in a fight on the street. Is uh, me and Brian were somewhere in the valley at this bar, this random bar. Brian wanted me to meet him for a drink, so we sit down there, and all these hell's angels walk in. I'm oh, like, oh, I'm out. Fuck, <laughs> man, they got all their vests on stuff like that. And the real big one, who's probably their, you know, their the 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 meat of the group, kept staring at me. And they recognized me, and you see them talking to them because usually. They want to show how tough they are. I yeah. told Brian, I'm like, dog, we got to figure a way to get the fuck out of here. He's like, why? I was like, I heard them, man. They're going to start fucking with us. They're going to come over here. And Brian was like, let them come over here. I was like, <laughs> here we go. What? <laughs> yeah, Brian was like, let them come over. They can do shit, man. I'm like, what if they do, though? Yeah. I'm like, let's get the fuck yeah. out. And he's like, well, if they do, I ain't going nowhere. Okay. I was for, like, goddamn, for, Brian. For, for, first of all, that kind of shit never happens to me. You know why? Because mm -hmm. I'm never going to a bar. 
In the valley. We're in the valley. <laughs> well, valley's where, popping now. Where hell's angels <laughs> might come by. You mean either. This is Brian Callen's call, man. Yeah, you should. You didn't know by when you walked in, and it was like no, it was, was kind of. It was like empty. one of those. It was those swinging doors, you know. <laughs> saloon. <laughs> it was like a saloon. A, then you, as soon as you open it, it went. <laughs> down, 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 down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But look, also, man, you got to know, man, a lot of motorcyclists, if you give them a couple years, they die in car accidents, bro. Ain't so <laughs> that the truth? It's not even worth fighting them, dude. Or they become teamsters on, and they're on sets. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's where I but, see them all. Did, why would this guy try stabbing Joey? Yeah, have we, have we seen this uh, video? Uh, it know, went viral on TikTok. And actually, Sean, who's listening in Theo's studio, sent some more information. But here's the Is video. Is it in Jersey? Let's see. He was drunk. Yeah, he's drunk. Is this what guy guy passing out his car? car? Yeah. Pass him out. And that was Joey's opener? Yes. But then this guy tweeted when the thing went viral. I guess this was a couple of years ago. He said, okay, I'm the comic from this video. I did tackle and choke out a drunk dude to a Joey Diaz show. It happened a couple of years ago. He was hitting audience members and staff. I never saw a knife. He never went after Joey. Also, I take a bullet for Uncle Joey. Yeah, who oh, the it? truth. So, yeah, but this is, like, popping off on Insta uh, TikTok. It's got, like, over a million views and stuff. But, you know, you're out here on the road. I mean, Theo, you know, bef before you were Theo, you know, you were doing a lot of shit gigs, you know? You, you, you're, you know, I'm still doing shit gigs, you know? No, you're not. No, no, dude, I was out in – I was out – Yeah, yeah, Brandon. picked this up. I was out at, like – I was in Tennessee, actually, at some – no, Kentucky. I was at Kentucky Disc Club. Yeah. You know, you're out at these places, and when you're a man, you're out and you're by yourself. You don't even realize, like, I'm at a hotel by myself. I don't know the opener. I didn't bring anybody. I, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just getting the local guy, and I'm on stage, and this woman just, you know, she starts going in. She goes crazy, you know? What did and she I, say? Do you remember, Eric? I, I don't She just was going. I'm already done with my set. Probably something you've said before, Theo. You know? And then she, she like, <laughs> um, so she starts acting up big time. Stands up. Uh, so I pull out my phone, which was the mistake, because that cued everybody to pull out their phone. Yep. So I start recording her. Now, as I'm recording her, she swings at the phone. Now, from the back, it looks like she swung and tried to hit me. So that's the thing that TMZ picked up. I get an email. Eric, we're running with this story of how this heckler hit you. And I'm like, oh, my God. Yep. You know what I mean? But that's not what happened. Have you, you know? had any yeah. scares, still on the road? Like, I've, ha I've had, I think I was somewhere in Texas. I'll yeah, I think Texas, we had a, a bomb threat. Oh. So there's like tons of security around, but I was like, look, man, I paid the cost bomb, to be. What the, just more people get blown up. Dude, the first time I, I remember when I, uh, first time I do doing comedy, I'm doing, I'm in Montana doing triple runs, and I'm way out in like Miles, Montana. And again, I'm, it's just me and this, I'm the, I'm the opener, and this like guy's the headliner, and he's like, he's a white guy, and, he, and, and, and you know, the, the crowd is all white. They, they are rowdy. We're in a bar where there's like, you know, pool tables and, sh you know, you know what I mean? It's, it's a rowdy ass bar. Guy comes up to me afterwards. He's like, you want to fight? You know? And I'm like, not really. <laughs> Why? You know what I mean? Like, I, no. How many rounds did he want to go though? I, I, dude, I, Good I, question. I, at this point, I'm looking around like, how around? am I going to get back to my hotel? This is this guy's town. You know what I mean? You like these people know each other. Them, right? Yeah, that you guy know? don't give a fuck. So I try to avoid, I go like, yeah, where you from, man? You know, he's yeah. like, I'm from New York, you know? I'm gonna tell yeah. you, this is exactly what he said to me, word for word. I said, well, what are you doing here? He goes, to get away from the niggers. Oh. That's, oh, the, that's wow. the, his exact word. He said words. it plural, so he meant more than one? Yeah. <laughs> he put an S on it, Theo. <laughs> <laughs> but a hard ER, it sounds like. Hard ER. So I said to him, uh. I went like this. Well, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Great job. It's, and then, it and sounds then I, like you're at a Kid Rock party. You, dude, yeah, I had my, I had my turtleneck on. <laughs> Living my life. And then he just, I wasn't going to bite on it, you know? Because I felt like. Wants. Yeah, yeah. So then I went and then I told the, the, the headline, I was like, yo, man, I got to tell you this funny thing that just happened because it's weird. It's like you're being racist in this day and age. It don't even make any yeah. sense, right? You yeah. know? So he gets mad. Where is he? What, oh, I'm like, what are you getting mad about? What are we going to do? You're going to go over there and do what? Where's this guy at? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, get the fuck he out of here, man. He said that to you? Yeah, right. Yeah, I just told you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, so I've experienced these moments where I feel like, damn, what what, what am I going to, you know, what what would you do? You know? Yeah. So, I mean, for you, you guys, you know. Have you ever done anything? Theo's got an entourage now. He's got, you know, 
So yeah, he has a like, camera crew with yeah, him all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ari Manis has this dark arts. He's going <laughs> to shank somebody. Look, I got to tell you bloated fuck boys. I've paid the cost to be the boss, okay? I got to tell you that straight up, man. Bloated now, fuck what, boys. <laughs> what I'm also wow. telling you guys. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I want to see you uh, without that camouflage on. We know what you hide. That was a, that was a typo, man. That was a typo, y'all heard. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, all I'm saying is, yeah, man, look, I think things happen everywhere, man. I think a lot of times there's dudes that want to step to people and they'll use whatever elements they can, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. And I've had people call me the N-word. I've had people call me uh, F-word, faggot. Um, I've had people call me just all, you know, people... Anytime somebody wants to start shit, they're going to come at you, especially, and they know also, I think they know a comedian is by themselves, you know, so I'm there's saying. not much that they can do, you know, um, but I think also the vibe has changed over time, I think, and it does get better as your career goes along because you get in places where there's a little bit better, you know, there's better security at like an improv and there's better like, you know, and, uh, there's at least a people that have to come and pay for a ticket. Than somebody who can just roll up and walk in and just get wasted, knowing that they're looking for shit. But there's you know? a lot of I'm telling you, there's a lot of comedy clubs in the country where they don't necessarily have security or even think about it. I mean, how many times have you like started like a heckler starts in, they're too drunk, and then I start to look around like, oh, they're actually not going to kick this yeah, guy out because yeah, he's at like, a table of oh, seven. Yeah. They haven't paid their they bill also yet. Don't know, yeah. yep. They don't know what's going on. It's like oh, there's no, there's no you metal out. detectors. There's nothing. You just start to go, well, damn, this is actually a dangerous situation. The I club had, owner will sell you out. The club owner, if it's a big party and they're raising hell, they won't throw them out. Yep, that's what no, I'm saying. Doesn't matter I, what I, they I was say. doing the comedy store La Jolla and Derek totally po- different, different. But Derek Poston was doing. Uh, he had some joke about white people and this like group of twelve older white people yelled out Nazi and throw. Uh, they threw uh, wine glasses at him, hmm. sure. and they kicked them out fast. Well, yeah, you also can call the police. It's, yeah. it's a, you know, it's a it's weird assault. Though. You know, she what yelled mean? Nazi. I call the cops, dude. If I see two handicapped people making out, I fucking call the cops, bro. That's I did fair. that in New Orleans one what, time. What is the justification for that? Like, what do you call that? When you call in, what do you say? I say, look, I say, Suspicious I'm trying people. to do. Well, I just say the odds of us getting another handicapped person are increasing, and I would show up at the corner of fucking Claiborne and uh and Magnolia. I love that he doubled down. On <laughs> doubled down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Serious, now bro. I want to see that story. Yeah. Like, how is that happening? Like, it's not easy for two people. Like, do they have helpers? Do they have an Ari Manis there with them? That's going like, know, bro. You know? they're figuring it out. <laughs> like, bro, how I'll do two you. people? Like, how do two handicapped people go on like a date? And how does it they get got frisky GPS, at the end of the night? bro? Like, I want to know. It out. You ever seen Love on the Spectrum? Yeah, that's they're on ways. That is different. Yeah. I'm talking about like they, they, two, they, they both got vans. <laughs> you know, they both got vans. And like one guy at the end of that, it's like this. <laughs> you know, it comes down off the van, and the See other one is like, <laughs> "No, he's like, I'm coming for you, girl." <laughs> girl, you look fine as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Like that would be a whole like. I, I just <laughs> that would be dope. I'm just saying, I would be envious because I'd be like, "Damn, y'all really go?" Because that you committed. Like it's one well, thing no turning back. It's one thing to be like, "All right." You know, I don't know if I really want to be with this person, but after you had to get in the van, you got <laughs> you oh, got to get your true, chair out the van. <laughs> you got to lock the van up. Oh, you got you, you know, to commit to the date process, at that point. Dog. It's like prom every night for them. You feel me? You know, you got to get to the elevator because you got to go through that thing. You know what I mean? Because there's stairs. You're talking about the maze. <laughs> yeah, you got to go through the maze. It's a lot. So by the time they get there, they're like. Whoo, <laughs> woo! Hope it's we finish, out. We finishing this. <laughs> yeah, the oh, more man. you go through, man. I think the more you go through, the more love is at the end of the line. You know that. Yeah, there you go. See, that's beautiful. That's what I'm saying. There you go. Feels gonna call the cops on you, though. <laughs> but yeah, he's <laughs> the way you call look. The cops. Yeah. That's such a fucked up, man. You know, I'm you, just trying to get Eric to be brave enough to darken up a little, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because we can't. We can't, bro. He's such a Karen. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he on the lawn talking about this handicapped people fucking. <laughs> I didn't say fucking. I said kissing <laughs> heavily. I like, excuse me? I said there's handicapped people fucking, and I don't like it. And I don't like it. And there's a chance they're going to make more handicapped. Like, I don't know if it works like that, sir. You know, like that whole conversation. Sir, please call back me of an emergency. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's Y'all contagious tripping, like man. that, sir. I'm just saying you got to freaking think ahead, man. We got to think big picture, dog. Yeah, you right, dog. That's the deal. 
Yeah, that's Theo right there. <laughs> Karen oh, Vaughn. Does look like Karen Theo. Vaughn. <laughs> Name the, there's your title for the episode. <laughs> Karen Vaughn. Uh, this, we'll close out with some uh, Culture Corner auditions. Next week we're going to have either someone either on Zoom or in studio. Um, but we'll start off with this we, guy. We getting those two uh, non-keto twins in here? We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can. We'll see if we can. Uh, this guy, I think, Eric met at a bar one time. What's up, Theo? Brandon Corner. <laughs> Just, I was thinking he was the guy who said the N word. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you'll hear more about him, and it it'll make sense. What's up, Theo? Brandon Colter Corner, Chappelle, Cat. It's your one and only Bosnian homie, Dino Christian Dautovic. I am from Bosnia, Bosnia refugee, but I ain't got no accent or nothing, man. I'm uh, oh, wow. <laughs> just fucking with you guys, but yeah, man. I'm a truck driver out here. Came here in '95 after the genocide, the war in Bosnia. Damn. Uh, been through some All shit, right. man. Been through prison. Uh, done some dumb shit. Yeah. We can Brands, tell. All that type of jazz, you know, all that good Chain jazz. says the story. All that stuff, man. But yeah, man, I feel like I could add a good addition to the culture corner. Fuck yeah. I'm a pretty normal guy, man. I like to write poem, rapping, hippity hop, don't stop, you don't drop, whatever, you know, bullshit. Yeah, man. I attached a rapper video to this, man. I don't really remember really Oh, like that. there's jokes. a white rapper Shits video? Oh, wow. No. Gang, Bosnian, gang. Brendan. Buzz, buzz. This guy's Bosnian, not white. I feel like this guy. I like this guy. I feel like that guy's in witness protection. <laughs> yeah. And he doesn't realize that this is going on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> and like his like witness protection agent is, is at home right now going, what the fuck? fuck is like, this he did what? idiot doing? <laughs> what if he's in Whitney's protection program and it's Whitney <laughs> Cummings? Whitney, you gotta Whitney's be an animal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Whitney Cummings has a protection program service. Uh, here's his rap. Let's hear it. Lately I've been praying to the one above Think I've done too many drugs, got me fucking up And I ain't never scared to die, and I never was And when I go, I just hope I done done enough For my kids' sake So when the road got rough, I had to buckle up Yeah, this life could get tough, you gotta suck it up You can't be spending your money, you gotta run it up Keep chasing women and you'll end up looking dumb as fuck I'm saying, look, I know what I speak Cause I done been here before, my homie, rappers and that's like this I know what it feel like to toss a turn in your sleep And to make matters worse you ain't slept in a week, but you gotta learn to keep your faith. Cause if God gotta say, you gon' be okay. Stay on the grind there day, stack the Frito lanes. Get the devil out your face, you gon' see more straight. Yeah, Amen. that's probably the one thing I could promise. Put it on my kids, even swear to my mama. Unlike the day I swore to your honor, cause I ain't telling shit to your honor. I got honor. Damn. Praise Christ, baby. Praise God. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what? It wasn't terrible. It wasn't bad. Mm-hmm. It wasn't bad at all. I, I'm not. I'm not mad at him. You know what I mean. But he's just out here in the, driving these streets. <laughs> Did he say he's in L.A., Nick? Uh, no. He was like South Florida or something. But he's a trucker, so he's all yeah. Over he's the all place. over the country. He didn't drive over here. Uh, yeah, that's your demographic. That would be pretty intense. I think he'd be cool. Them Bosnians, dude. And I'll tell you about them Bosnians, bro. Oh, a lot of them <laughs> just died. A lot of them died. And you know about it, Brendan, or you don't? <laughs> a little bit. Doubt that. Tell him, Nick. <laughs> Tell uh, him, Nick. Bo- <laughs> uh, I'm looking up Bosnian genocide right okay, now. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <man. laughs> it's a crack. It's a crack staff you got here. <laughs> 8,300 8, killed. Yeah. Yeah. The Bosnians have been through a lot, dude. I don't know why people don't like them. I haven't met enough of them to know why people don't like them yet. I like that but, guy. Who's but we got this? Justin Who's Long right here. His new fun, podcast fun, isn't going well. Character. Uh, let's it's see. Justin Long, dude. He has a new podcast that isn't going well. <laughs> Let me tell you why I should be the next guest on the Culture Corner. Name, Ivan Diaz Enriquez, 6'2", tall glass of water, peak of my existence. Mexican, I know who Pancho Villa is, I know who Richie Valens is. Selena, got pulses ever all over my walls. Yes, I do have a friend named Hector, to be precise, four. American core values, bro. I got him. Love apple pie. My parents are divorced, didn't do great in school, can't name all the states on the map, but I can tell you what a neutral zone infraction is. Make me your next guest. Chris D'Elia, I feel like kind of... And this is like and Witness Protection. Callen. And, it, won't be per- it looks like Chris D'Elia and Brian Callen merged together. better than Baby Unique. <laughs> <laughs> he clowned Baby Unique. <laughs> Say, can't be any worse than Baby Unique. <laughs> and Baby Unique's a damn lizard owner, too. Yeah, she brought a fucking snake. 
This guy was cool, though. I dig this dude. No, you don't, dude. I think the white rapper was fun. Nuh-uh. You didn't like him? Yeah, I liked him, but I just want you to be honest with everybody, and I want you to be honest with Eric, too. Uh, I think both these guys could be fun. Yeah, you're right, you're right. You're right, man. They're both good guys. No, look, I'm happy that this guy sent this in. This guy's obviously from another country, and he, you know, who knows even what it's like over there. And so the fact that he's even able to get this put together and send this out, he had that uh, that soft helmet on. Um, <laughs> I would have done a Crystal Lee impersonation. I would have went with a Crystal Lee impersonation. That's what I would have went with. Yeah, that will get um, you on the show. <laughs> so how about this? Here's what I would like to request out of this young man. We would like to see a Crystal Lee impersonation. If you can do that and send it in, I think that that would really be interesting. Brendan, what do you think? Yeah, that would be fun. There you go. Sweet. And we got one more. Uh, this guy's a uh, – he went a little long, but he was good. Let me know if you want me to cut him off. Why does he get cut off? He went over. He went over. A, <laughs> he's from Wisconsin. <laughs> fucking truck driver in Boston. <laughs> dude. He was doing impersonations and shit. He had two videos. Had a rap. <laughs> the one black guy. He's like, this one went a little long. So it's, it's about two. What does he? Long. What does he say? Like, hi, I want to be on the show. <laughs> ah, turn it on. Not, not, not a fit. Am I right, fellas? Yeah, right. What is happening on this show? It's a two-minute long video. You two minutes to, too you long had for to me. Dig this one up for my benefit right yeah. now. He's probably <laughs> looking up with the show notes. Like, we better let's have somebody of color. <laughs> Two minutes is an eternity. This even has a filter on it, too. Let's see this guy. What up, we even put a filter, too. He looked a little lighter in the original video. Friends know me as I C. It's my initials. I am a black. As you can see, a lot of culture going on here. A lot of culture going on here. Uh, but I am a black from Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. I like country music. Damn, I guitar do stand up. I'm one of them Ammies, you know. Got a tight three to five. Damn. I played a little bit of college football. Okay. Got on the here, lower Brendan. level. <laughs> Ooh, he's right on you. On a lower level. <laughs> <laughs> Train. A little bit of MMA. I watch a little bit of porn. Amen, brother. Praise God. We all suffer. And my father <laughs> is a pastor. Who wants me to follow in his footsteps? Hates that I do MMA. I mean, how's this guy different than Chappelle? But he has a dad. That's <laughs> yeah, true. Um, we wants me to finish college. I'm 23 right now. <laughs> what is happening? That's what, that's oh, what Nick was saying. <laughs> I mean, Nick was trying even, not to be racist. Wait, wait, wait. It's not even that it's long. Like he got enough pauses <laughs> that Theo can step in <laughs> each chime thing. In yeah, chime in on each. <laughs> <laughs> The, the Lord works well, you know. <laughs> Praise God. Assalamu alaikum, my brother. We all like porn. Yeah, like yeah. this. This guy's perfect for Theo. Yeah. <laughs> he can just chime in with, "I love your hair," you know. Just in between. Yeah. This is a lot. I love red. I love red tails. Remember that movie, Red Tails? <laughs> oh, Look, that's, man, come was, on, man. You gotta go, don't roast red tails. <laughs> come on, it was pretty good, man. But I'm just saying it seemed outlandish, but it was good. <laughs> um, look, obviously this guy is a talented gentleman. Um, I think we need to. I I think we need to ask him to do something though, B. I think have him, you know, like just think, like with the other guys, have him create something that makes it a little bit more of a vibe. Do you know? one of the unique. things that he said. You know? Yeah, I would also do, maybe drink a Monster Energy drink <laughs> for a little more energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do something. Coffee, something. It's easy to get five minutes when you're silent half the time. Yeah, just, man. Well, he only has to say two sentences yeah. in that five <laughs> yeah. minutes. Yeah. I see what you're doing there, Nick. Slow talker. I like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He reminds me of Glenn Big Baby Davis a little bit. A mm. little bit. Do you get Glenn Big da- Baby Davis in the culture corner? And his thick-ass yeah, girl. Him. He, was, uh, he was all excited about the fights. Other. He's a big well, – he's a Louisiana guy, so. That makes sense. We on top right now. <laughs> it's crazy up here, man. All right. Yeah, it, Fuck, uh, we'll I gave that we'll thousand away. I wish with, I had uh, one guy who had a really cool, he's a pretty artistic guy. Bet you he's white. King <laughs> wow. Yeah, see, the, see the build out? See how the build out? Oh, this guy's got a pretty artistic guy. Yeah, he was your he's like, guy. you know. <laughs> Like the the build up for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I, the other guy, they were like, "Oh, next up, we got this sleepy guy who just may not have who may Y'all not probably have." Probably want me to cut this one off. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna throw this in there anyway. I'll let you guys decide. Calls him yeah, like got, season. This guy may not have hey, legitimate Raymond, paperwork on Theo, him. Yo, Chin, Chappelle, Nick, and Cat. Oh, he's high. <laughs> Super big time fan here, long time listener. I actually saw Brandon 
uh, Brian Callen and Chappelle at Stand Up Live in Phoenix. Um, mm -hmm. That's where I'm currently living right now, doing all this art. But I got a king it or sting it for you today, guys. What do you think about boys that art? Even though I'm straight. What do you guys think about getting creative on a Friday night? Getting creative Damn. on the weekdays? Damn, um, got you can rich, see, huh? I stay busy painting. Um, but king it or sting it. Maybe getting your girl together, doing a little bit of finger painting. Here's my favorite one, actually. Or maybe just solo, get the kratom flowing and get lost. the paints out. King it or sting it for you guys. Painting, getting artistic. Love you guys. I even make my own hats. It's Smokey Joe Paint Co. Painting on clothes, painting on canvases, painting on bodies. So this Thank guy you gets guys. to do a commercial, yeah. <laughs> a whole promo. <laughs> this guy gets a promo. Is he getting a kickback? I agree. <laughs> He's a talented individual. By the way, man. yeah, I uh, like all that was great. Like yeah. I, I see, like he really showed. Like his personality doesn't match all that he's showing. So I bet you he's not really like this, what he's doing right now. I no. think he's playing that up because because probably yeah. friends are always getting on his case about it. Yeah. What you doing, yeah, that bitch-ass like, art Ernie. again? <laughs> you in there doing yeah. that bitch-ass art? But he really wants he's to be this talented, guy. Yeah, he's very talented. Shit, paint a King of Sting piece. We need a new centerpiece for have. the studio. He, I mean, that's what he should he be should showing. The video was like, and I yep. got this for you guys. Yeah. It's Theo in the white turtleneck, my right. thick ass in the corner. And who's that? Is that Ryan? What's his name? That guy that does Ryan all Sickler? the jumps? No. Sheckler? I thought that was Adam Ray. Sheckler? <laughs> Sheckler. Sheckler. Yeah, Ryan Sheckler. That's what I'm thinking of. That could be Adam Ray. Maybe that Rodriguez fellow. It does look like Adam Ray a little, Rodriguez. doesn't it? All right. Doesn't it? Paul Rodriguez now, Chin, what are you doing? Are you still alive? I can't even believe that you're here. What's <laughs> going here. on? And this guy reminds me of Seth Green a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, his, same vibe. His cadence. Yeah. Oh, Chin? no, no. You know, no, you know, I tell you what. Now I got it in my head. Do you guys remember? You ever did? You remember Clueless? Yeah. Remember the the skateboard mm -hmm. high guy in Clueless? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's this guy Jamie right here. Yeah. He reminds me of Jamie Kennedy a little bit. I can see that. Not really, actually. <laughs> you don't think so? Like Jamie Kennedy now, though. <laughs> I don't see it. There he is. Yeah. Thank you. Crack Look at this staff. guy. Very good. There he is, right there. That's the same. Oh, that's they're the same guy. guy. Look at that. Look at that. That guy's in every movie. He's in that he's in college Ocean's movie. Where, uh, is it Road, Road Trip? Trip? Yeah, with Tom Green. And he was in uh, Ocean's uh, Thirteen. Is this the same guy? He was the hockey guy in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. No, you're thinking yeah. of Casey. Oh uh, yeah, different guy. He's All in right. every movie. Is that uh, <laughs> uh Gil? Um, <laughs> what's that guy's name? Gil uh, uh, Burns. <laughs> no, he was in Wine. That movie about wine. Remember that movie about wine? Oh, you're thinking of uh, Sideways? Yes. Great movie. Not him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who is that? Gary? No, Gil. No, it's Hayden and something, and the other one's. Uh, it's not Hayden, Brendan. <laughs> Gil, somebody. This guy's name is Brecken Aaron Meyer. Yeah, people say he looked like a uh, Bill Maher too, like a young Bill Maher. Mm. Ooh, I don't see that. <laughs> and so, yeah, yeah. that guy. Maher. Yeah, I could see him looking like a young Bill Maher. Yeah, this guy is a uh, Gil. Uh, Gil. What the fuck? Oh, look at the cracks. Can you look at <laughs> wine? <laughs> wine. Paul look Giamatti wine movie. and then Thomas Hayden. Paul shirt. Giamatti. That's what I'm thinking oh, of. Paul Giamatti. God, way off. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you kidding Thank me? You. <laughs> A little bit in the face. No, no. hell no. In the face. Younger. This guy's hell younger. My bad. No. That's it. That's it. Oh, Giamatti, look at the That's face. It. Zoom in the face. Zoom in the face. Zoom in the face. They don't look anything no, like look you. Well, if Nick would zoom in the face, he's looking at words still. You're wasting everybody's life. Yeah. That's a bad pitch. You could have picked anyone. <laughs> there you go. I mean, I guess they're two white males. Yeah. You got that. I don't One's see that. One's got no hair. One has hair. I just, I don't get <laughs> Yeah, whatever. You guys are fucking, you guys aren't artistic. That's your problem. Right? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you are autistic. That's what <laughs> Well, then call the cops, dog. You know yeah, anytime call I see Theo fucking, I'm going to be like. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, two autistic guys have a show together. We need the police over here. That's what I would say.
Well, Mr. Griffin, thanks for coming, man. Yeah. yeah. You crushed it, Griffin, dude. what are you doing on Twitch, too? I want to know more about it. So I've never done Twitch, even. So tell me a little bit more about it, because I know you game a lot. Yeah, I'm on game. Eric Griffin Gaming. You can check me out. I'm on there daily. I'm just doing because I don't like going out. How's it going? It's well, good. there's nowhere to go out. There's nowhere to go out. Yeah. So, so I just I just body. game all the time. And I'm building up my community, and I've gotten a lot of opportunities because of gaming. Like, I played video games with T-Pain on a show. <laughs> you know, uh, Does he do the voice? Like No, the, he doesn't. He had this. But I have my thing, and I did it. You know, he's probably, it's probably annoying to yeah. him. You know what I mean? It's like when somebody does a joke to a comic. But yeah, I've had a, like a bunch of uh, different uh, opportunities. I did this. Um, I did this show on the Crown Channel, on the Twitch Crown Channel uh, during it was called Potluck during the December. What game? It was a holiday do you play? thing. I play a lot of Call of Duty. Oh, word. that's my game. A little. I love. I love playing Warzone. So you'll see me in Verdansk every single day on Air Griffin Gaming. So come check me out wherever the camera is. Okay, we'll put all that. We'll put that information too and stuff. If is there links people can get to it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just Twitch. Okay, we'll put that in. Eric Griffin now, do Gaming they have Twitch. treaties no, Twitch on Call of Duty? Is it just fighting, or you can do treaties and stuff as well? <laughs> is there teams? <laughs> treaties? Like what kind of boring ass game? <laughs> I don't. I don't know how it works Does either. Theo I don't want to play where you're like. <laughs> Sitting at a table and you guys have to discuss Negotiate. foreign policy. Yeah. What kind of dumbass game would that be, Theo? <laughs> I'm just saying, Brendan thought it was, I said treats. That's what his fucking problem is right now. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan's picturing two dudes from different countries making fucking cinnamon apple pretzels over here. That's his problem. <laughs> but no, there's no way to have peace. Network. Yeah. <laughs> there's no way to have peace between the different people on the game. No, it's is it teams or you're by yourself killing people? No, you uh, you can like I do a lot of solo. Then you, but I ha then I have my buddies come in and we play like you know duos, trios, or quads. I've, I've oh, been asking man. this. I've been telling Theo to come jump on with me many times, but you Theo's know, not a gamer. He's he too busy out here in these streets. Theo, I just, I can't get my thing to work. My controller won't charge right. <laughs> is my biggest issue. But you I got to sound get back out there. like somebody's grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> what, what what you know what I mean? What system this, do you play on? Damn controller, you know. But it's cross platforms. So you can play on a PC. Uh, what Xbox system does he RPC, play on, dude? Or PS4. I, Brendan sounds like a fucking old dude. What system, bro? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun, kids. My bad, man. Uh, uh, this year dude, let's Thursday. don't fucking finish, bro. Yeah. I don't have anything else to do, bro. Let's don't fucking finish now. <laughs> Man, I gotta get going. I get on my fucking kids. Uh, Friday, Saturday, I'm at San Marcos. You have two Texas. kids, Brendan. What'd you say? You have two kids. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. He acted like it was the Partridge family. You know what I mean? Like he got, he got yeah. nine kids and like another baby mama someplace where he got like two other ones. S S says the guy who has plants and says the guy who plays video games all day. Yeah. Hey, hey man. don't make don't don't get mad at us because we made good life choices. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, dude, you're the one out there busting and yeah, you got you got because your pullout game is messed up. <laughs> Dude, I would love to, uh, man, God, I just can't believe Dustin Poirier won. That fucking shit was crazy. Dude, what about Michael Chandler, though? What about him? What about the back? What do you think was scarier, having to fight Dan Hooker or having to do the backflip off the fucking top of the octagon? The I'd end? say the backflip. <laughs> I can't too. do no backflip. The guy did a backflip before the fight or no, after he the knocked fight? the dude after. out, jumped on top of the cage, and did a backflip onto the mat. It's nuts. Oh, my God. What crazy, if he would have hurt bro. himself? Yeah, but now, guy, Eric, what sport? Or... Say, Eric, say you have to get out there, right? Somebody mm -hmm. puts a gun to your head, and you got to get out there and actually do a sport. Right. What do you do? I play basketball. Okay. I played basketball when I was younger and more fit. Wait, you played in high school or college, didn't you? I know I played in high school, yeah, just high school. I thought I remember seeing a picture one time somebody posted of you playing high school basketball. Is that true? Do you remember that? Yeah, I, I, I posted that picture. <laughs> It was a throwback Thursday, you fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. I fucking forgot about that. That was Did you awesome, play a sport? Bro. What sport did you play out there? Yeah, uh, I play basketball, dude. I play with some uh, unique people. Actually, you want to show them the picture, Nick? Yes, sir. You yeah, your unique. team looked pretty good, Theo. That one dude, there's no way he was in high school. You played with David all... Robinson. Look at this squad. Oh, we played. They had a dude in our name Bear Bear. This other dude <laughs> named Arms Johnson. Look at this squad. We... Arms Johnson. Look at the yeah. dude yeah, on the far right, top right. Come on. <laughs> High school? That's, bro, that's Don Galatis. He was 41 years old, dude. He also was the janitor at our school and went to school. Wait, first of all, that, dude on, a, that dude on the top right. like <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's 37 at least. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. It's a Juco transfer. Gee whiz. That's Don Galatis, you know baby. These are the only six black people in Theo's town. 
know what I mean? Look at Theo. They, 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 Theo looks scared. <laughs> those are the only black kids in the whole city he grew up in. <laughs> Look, bro. They were on they the basketball me, team. Bro, they called me Pass. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like they called you White Chocolate, right? That was my nickname, baby, Pass, baby. It looked like you and the guy behind you would get together and talk shit about the rest of the Wait, guys. Wait, did you play? Like, because, like, there's six of them, so that was five starters. <laughs> When did you? Yeah. When did you? The numbers. Yeah. There. When did you get in? There's six black guys. <laughs> yeah. Only five. I see play. six black guys. I see a a, a, ta- a, a evening, tall bro. cornbread white boy in the back. <laughs> when did you get in? I see Theo being very hydrated and helping out the boys. Yeah. Yeah. I played skinny. late at night, bro. I played late yeah, at Theo night. Theo was all arms back then too. Look at that. Arms and long airs. Long arms. arm of the law, right there. Long arms. That's Cal Jackson right there. That's John Clark. You got uh, Vincent Jackson, Don Galatis, Jonathan Smith, and you got fucking James, uh, I don't know. He worked at the auto body shop. (laughs) (laughs) He didn't even go to high school. He didn't, bro. He wasn't even in school. (laughs) But they didn't check. This motherfucker didn't even go to the school. (laughs) He just showed up for the game. Just ball, yeah. And this was junior high. He took off his overalls when he got to the. Like, what? This was middle school, I think. That was no, it wasn't. <laughs> There's no way number up. eight and fourteen are in middle school. You can't be middle school. Fourteen that, looks like that dude got LeBron James. number eight got two kids in this picture. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Number eight has to get going too because of kids. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He he after the game he like after this picture he was like look I got two kids I gotta go I gotta get going. Go, I gotta get going. <laughs> Theo was talking shit back then. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, those are the days, bro. Uh, Eric, thanks so much for joining us, man. Yeah, anytime, guys. Yeah, man, that was fun. Thanks. We appreciate it. That's it. Love you guys. Theo, good to see you, brother. Get your ass back to L.A. Good to see you. I'll see you in studio next week, brother. All right, brother. Later. All right, peace. Peace, Eric. Brendan and Theo, fighter and weight. I got to go in and go hard in the paint. I do not think. I am in flow. Black Rifle Coffee, I'm ready to go. I need a sponsor. I am a monster. About to open up with this at my concerts. Flow is contagious. Brows are outrageous. Thicker than girls that are Instagram famous. Damn. Hungry like I'm fresh off keto. Seeing red like Andrew Santino. Every song I hit like the great Bambino. Brendan ate the queso and the queso Ritos. But everything's gonna be fine. Hate on me, I do not mind Theo looking like the type of dude that got a pack of matches in his pockets at all times They sliding into my DMs A couple of you tried but couldn't beat them Quit playing like Nintendo DS You don't want the smoke like Joey Diaz Meaning y'all edible Just got my eyebrows threaded and I'm feeling incredible Brennan's son hit me up He said it's too loud in the club, can you pick me up? King and the Sting King and the Sting Oh yeah On a string oh, yeah.